Hey, hey, what's up, Mike? This is Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is our two year review of this massive 14 foot, six inch floating desk. Of all the floating desk builds on YouTube, this is the largest one ever built. Almost 15 feet long, and no other video even comes close. But after two years, and to be honest, it's almost three years, I wanted to come back and take a look at it and see how it held up. And guys, if you don't know this, my name is Mike. I love technology, I love networking, I love computer builds, I love TVs, gaming consoles, all things technology. If you enjoy these things as well, make sure to hit subscribe and the bell notifications. And while you're there, give a thumbs up and share this video. And guys, consider joining our Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And the perks that you enjoy for $2 a month is a personal thank you at every new video. Also included is one tech support question per month. And the last perk is you're automatically enrolled into any giveaways that we have. And we do giveaways every five or six months. Now I'm not a professional woodworker and I don't claim to be one. I'm just a woodworking hobbyist. I've got a table saw, a drill and a passion for building. And that's about it. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at this desk and see how it held up. We'll talk about what I like about the desk and what I don't like about it. And we'll even go over the comments that you guys made about how I built this. The good, the bad, and the ugly. But first, why did I build a nearly 15 foot massive floating desk? Well, this office is pretty small. And before this floating desk, we had two massive large desks in here it took up a lot of space and it looked pretty bad too. So I had some goals here. First goal was to get those ugly desks out of here and build something more minimal that took up less space and looked good. And it also had to function. And I even planned for cable management under the desk, which you're gonna see a little bit later. And if you wanna see how I built this massive 14 foot, six inch floating desk, I'll have a link at the end of this video. It's awesome. And believe it or not, the price for this entire floating desk was around $350. So the simple breakdown of how I built this desk is I used two by fours all underneath to make the frame. I attached that frame to the wall and then built two identical tops, each the same size. I then placed them on top of the shelf and then secured them with glue and screws. And here's the first screw up that I made. I shouldn't have used glue oh. because sometime in the future, I might want to remove this top and redo it. Now it's going to be a bitch. There's a lot of glue. I'm fairly certain I can remove these tops, but it's going to be a big pain in the ass. The second thing I don't like about this desk is it's too low. The chairs that I use have to be lowered all the way to go underneath this. Had I built the desk one inch higher, it would have been perfect. Also, you can see the two by fours right here. And my plan was to put a decorative piece in front to cover this up. And I do have some beautiful redwood in the garage from a previous build. And I can use that redwood to put a nice trim in the front. As far as durability goes, this desk is durable. I had a lot of comments saying I used the wrong size screws to mount the frame to the wall. However, that's not the case. After two and a half years, this desk has not gone anywhere. It hasn't moved a millimeter. It's strong. And trust me, I've got a lot of weight on this desk. This massive computer, monitors, printer. So durability is a thumbs up. However, I did make a mistake with these tops. These tops are made of pine and they look beautiful. And I pieced them together to make one big top. And because I don't have a planer to flatten everything out, the top is a little uneven in some places, especially where I sanded a lot. And I sanded a whole bunch on these tops. So my regret is not using a planer to get these nice and flat. And also I only added about four coats of poly to this top. It should have been about seven coats because there are dings already in this top. As far as underneath the desk, I drilled some large holes in the frames underneath to run wires. And that worked great. It keeps all the wires out of sight. And also at the time of building this desk, I installed some cheap LEDs in the back and those were terrible. So I replaced those cheap lights with some Gobi lights and they look great. So all in all, this desk cost less than $400. And after two years or almost three years, it still looks great functions well, and looks minimal, which is what I wanted. Anyways, if you have any questions about this build, leave it in the comments below. I answer all questions. And right here, we'll have the link to this massive 14 foot, six inch floating desk. The biggest one on YouTube. And guys, as usual, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit subscribe and the bell notifications, and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.